Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here with darkgadgets.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at Word Lens on Google Glass. There we go. All right, so we have a... Nope, we don't want to start stopwatch actually. But yeah, anyway, we have a sheet on here with some French words and phrases or one word and a few phrases. So we're going to go ahead and translate that. So we, all we have to say is we put on glass and we say, okay, glass, translate this. Now I take the paper. Hold it up and it starts translating it from French to English. And we go down the paper. And it'll keep trying to translate. And you can see that there, it translates it pretty good. It's kind of quick. But where this really works best is on big signs like that. So I mean, if you're at a stop sign in France or you're just any type of sign that's big and has big letters, that's where it's gonna work best. It's not very good when reading small text. So I mean, a menu, a restaurant menu, it might not work because it's fairly small text. I mean, if I stand really far away, it's not gonna zoom in, it's not gonna read the letters correctly. And hopefully that'll change with a future version of Glass, which will have a better camera for it to be able to zoom in more and read better text from farther away. But yeah, I mean, you can translate from a variety of languages here, French to English, English to Spanish, I mean, Italian, German, and Portuguese. I mean, it has a good amount of languages here. So, I mean, you can travel to a bunch of different places and you can just pull out glass or not even pull out glass. Just tap and say, okay, glass, translate this, look at a sign and see exactly what it means in um, English. So it's pretty sweet. And the only things that I have a problem with so far is that even though we've been using this, I don't know, a minute, two minutes, the band on glass gets extremely hot. And I don't know, it probably nothing's gonna happen to it. But if you're wearing this, your ear uh, does get hot as well. And I guess if you let the app on, you could not burn yourself, but you know, heat your ear up or whatever. When you're done watching this video, make sure to go check out Turkish Airlines new video, which features Kobe Bryant and Lionel Messi in an epic selfie off, which they go all around the world trying to updo each other on who can take the better selfie. They do crazy things and it's a really cool video. Go check it out. It's down below in the description and a link and it's also annotated right here on the screen if you're on desktop. But yeah, I mean, the app is pretty cool. It still has things to work on. But it's really cool to see more apps like this come to Google Glass that are testing you know, its abilities and actually making it more useful. Recently, some new cooking apps came out for it and even a game came out for it, which is pretty cool, where you choose words and with your head, although it hurts to focus on a game on here, it shows that Glass is capable than just, or more capable than just recording a video. Is it, yeah, it's gonna start recording a video. Then recording a video or just taking pictures and uploading them to social media, you can do a lot of neat things with this and hopefully developers you know see the apps like these and try to develop better things for it in the future but that's it for this video guys thank you for watching make sure to check out turkish airlines video down below in the description or again here and we'll catch you guys in the next one if you have any questions or any suggestions to what you know what, what you want to see with google glass make sure to let me know a review for this should be coming in the future i've been using them since june um and I feel like I've gotten a good feel for them now. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.